By simulating a natural cough, Cough Assist T70 is an effective, comfortable way to help clear the airway. It gradually delivers a large volume of air to the lungs, similar to a deep breath, then quickly reverses the airflow to pull secretions out. Cough Assist T70 is designed to be easy to set up and operate. To power the device, press the power cord firmly into the back of the device and plug the other end into an AC outlet. If you prefer, you can attach the optional lithium-ion battery into the detachable battery slot on the back of the device. A DC power adapter can also be used to connect to an external power source, such as a car battery. Cough Assist T70 can be used with a mask, tracheostomy tube, or mouthpiece. To build the patient breathing circuit, attach a bacteria filter to the breathing circuit connection. Attach the circuit tubing to the bacteria filter. Press the filter onto the connector on the side of the device. If the patient will be using a face mask or mouthpiece, attach it to the circuit tubing. If the patient has a tracheostomy tube, place a trach adapter on the circuit tubing. If the trach has a cuffed tube, inflate the cuff. Help the patient into as upright a position as he can tolerate. Press the round Start-Stop button on the front of the Cough Assist T70 to enter standby. If the device is running on AC power, the button will illuminate. Check the treatment settings to make sure they match the doctor's prescription. Before the first treatment session, it's a good idea to let the patient feel the airflow so he knows what to expect. This is helpful when working with children. Consider giving the patient an opportunity to get familiar with the mask or mouthpiece. You may also want to work out a stop treatment signal in case he needs a break. Press the rectangular right button below therapy to begin treatment. If you are operating Cough Assist T70 in manual mode, slide the control lever to the right to trigger an inhalation or press forward on the optional foot pedal. When the inhalation is complete, slide the manual switch to the left or press back on your heel for an exhalation. Position the mask, mouthpiece, or trach adapter on the patient. When using a mask, Make sure it is well fitted to eliminate possible leaks. If you hear or feel an excessive air leak during the inhalation period, support the back of the head with your hand or a pillow to improve the seal. If you're using a mouthpiece, nose clips may be needed. Instruct the patient to open his mouth and actively inhale during inhalation and exhale during exhalation, which will open the airway for unobstructed airflow. Ask him to keep his mouth open and tongue down throughout the therapy. Encourage the patient to be relaxed and passive during the inhalation and the exhalation cycles. When providing a treatment in the manual mode, you can see how long you are delivering the inspiratory pressure and how long you are delivering the exhaled pressure on the screen. The center position on the lever activates a pause. Depending on patient preference, you can pause for a few seconds after exhalation before initiating the next in-breath. Exhalation pressures appear on the left as negative numbers on the Cough Assist T70 screen. Inhalations are shown as positive. Both appear in real time. A simple screen view with less respiratory information is also available through menu options. The detailed screen provides additional clinical information. For the initial treatment, you may want to begin with lower pressures to give the patient a chance to get comfortable. You can gradually increase pressure as described in the pressure and timing adjustment portion of this program. A cough cycle is defined as inhale plus exhale plus pause time. Deliver four to six cough cycles in rapid succession followed by a rest period of 20 to 30 seconds. Repeat this sequence, four to six cough cycles and rest period, four to six times for a complete treatment. When the treatment is finished, Press the right button to halt the airflow and return to standby. The patient's prescription will determine how many treatments are to be administered each day, for example, a treatment every four hours. If the doctor orders the treatment as needed, the patient can determine how many treatments he receives during the day, depending on how often he's to clear secretions. Cough Assist T70 can be operated manually, which you have just seen demonstrated, or in automatic mode. In automatic mode, Inhale, exhale, and pause times are controlled by the time settings entered. 
When using the cough track option, the device will automatically detect inspiration effort and respond with an inhalation. With automatic operation, there is no need to toggle the manual switch between inspiration, exhalation, and pause. Cough Assist T70 will do it for you and display the pressures in real time. Here again, the patient should actively inhale and exhale. You can pause the treatment at any time by pressing the right button under standby. After the treatment, clear any secretions from his mouth, tubing, and patient interface. It is important to wash the breathing circuit and patient interface with mild liquid detergent and water. The parts must dry completely before next use. The bacteria filter cannot be washed, so you should replace it if it becomes blocked with mucus or trapped moisture. You should clean the air filter at least once every two weeks and replace it with a new one every six months. Three unique prescription settings can be stored in Cough Assist T70, so you can quickly select treatment pressures based on a patient's current needs. On the upper right-hand side of the screen, if you see a small open lock icon, you will be able to make changes to the settings. Changes can be made to the settings during standby or therapy. A specific prescription can be entered during standby, but titrating is easier to accomplish during therapy. To enter prescribed settings, press the left button under Settings. A setting menu will appear. The first item on the list will be highlighted, in this case, Preset. Press the Modify button. You can select which one of the three presets you wish to modify. Press the OK button to confirm the preset. You can select other settings by using the center navigate buttons. Let's say you want to change the pressure temporarily while a patient is being introduced to treatment for the first time. Use the center up-down button to move down the list until inhale pressure is highlighted. Press on the right button under modify. Use the center up-down button below edit to lower the pressure to the new setting. For an initial treatment, a low exhale pressure of negative 10 to negative 15 cmH2O may be a good starting point for an adult. Once the patient is accustomed to the therapy, exhale pressures of negative 40 to negative 45 cmH2O may prove more effective at clearing the airway. Press the right button under OK. Press the right button under Modify to change the next item on the list, which is Inhale Flow. Use the up-down edit button to adjust. If you try to change a setting beyond the available parameters, a limit reached message appears. In this case, after you have entered the correct pressure, press OK to accept the new setting. Use the right button under Modify to highlight inhale time. A typical inhale time for adults with a low flow setting is three to four seconds, one to two seconds in adults with higher settings. For small children with low flow, one to two seconds is typical, 0.5 to 1.5 for high flow. OK accepts the new inhale time. All the settings listed can be adjusted in this manner. When you have made all of your modifications, press the left button under Finish to return to standby. Cough Assist T70 comes with an SD card inserted in the SD card slot on the side. An SD card icon will appear on the top right corner of the screen. Your clinician may ask you to remove this card in order to review information about your treatment. From the standby screen, press up on the center button under Menu. You will see a list of items. Use the down button under Navigate to move down the list until Safely Remove SD Card is highlighted. Press the right button under Select. A Remove SD Card message will appear to let you know that the card can be removed. Press the left button under Exit to return to Standby. The SD card and other features make Cough Assist T70 easy for caregivers and patients to use in the hospital and at home.